the whole story of Satan, for example, right, that I talk, I'm telling y'all about, remember, Satan is consisted of shock. He has shockers like me and you. Remember I told y'all that Satan, Zeus, he stepped outside of himself. He didn't want to praise himself anymore. He wanted to create something to praise him. You know why Lucifer, why Satan, Zeus, fell so low and became so negative? He was at his crown chakra at first and higher. But when he stepped outside of himself, trying to create something to praise him, because he got tired of praying to himself. And then he became jealous of us because we still love praying to ourselves. So this is why they tell you in the God and in, the, in their Bible that said that God is a jealous God. They tricked us into serving Satan. The God in the Bible is Satan, nigga. All right. And this is why they tell you that he is a jealous God because he is one of us, one of the gods. And he became jealous of us because we were still loving and praising ourselves. And he got tired of it. He stepped outside of himself. And when he did that, he got caught up in his ego. And Zeus, a.k.a. Satan, a.k.a. Yaqub, he fell from his higher self to his lower self, meaning that he fell from his crown chakra down into his root chakra. Right? He stayed stuck in that root chakra. Right? That's where he stayed at. Stuck right there. He never rose about it. And out of that root chakra, he mastered that root chakra. He mastered that root chakra energy within himself. And out of that root chakra energy, he created these human beings. All right? So they were created. It's not their fault. But he created them out of pure jealousy and negative low vibrations toward his brothers and sisters because he had failed within his lower self. And this is what they talk about in the movie Get Out when she was teaching him about that sunken place, nigga. That sunken place from in the movie Get Out is really about your dropping into your root chakra, nigga. And just like in Get Out, when she dropped his ass to the root chakra, nigga, he was what? Stuck, looking up. Couldn't move. And now she was able to control him and make him a passenger in his body because he had failed to his lowest self, nigga. That's what that was symbolic of. You know what I'm saying? That was what that was symbolic of. But when you're not in your lower self, nothing can control you. All right? So our enemy, the only projectile weapons that he has is to fire images at us at our visual stimuli to keep us locked in our root shock. Right? So when you get to learn about the kundalini energy, it's an actual gland inside of you, nigga, called the kunda. Nigga, and this is what the movie Kunta Kente was symbolic of in Roots, nigga. That's why they called it Roots. It was about that root chakra and making us fall from our crown chakra through the... Because they used the transatlantic slave trade to make us fall from our crown chakra all the way down to our root chakra. Although we fell in frequency within ourselves, our ancestors would still vibrate at the highest extent of themselves. That's why in slavery, they were sticking together. They was running away. They was all that. It was still a unity, right? Because we were still crown chakra. We were still aware back then. But in slavery, they used slavery to make us drop from our pineal glands all the way down to the serpent level of ourselves. So today what you see is a bunch of, of, of gods that fail. Do you see how Satan got us to do the same shit he did? Satan fell from grace, nigga. And he tricked us into falling from grace with his bitch ass because we forgot who we was because his kids came and stole our history and our culture. So in the movie Roots, nigga, it's called Roots because it's about them using the slave trade to knock us from our crown chakra down to our root chakra, nigga. That's why they call the movie Roots, man. Hey, we ain't come to fuck around today. All is being revealed. Listen, man, I came back just to wake y'all up, man. I keep telling y'all, this is the, this the Rashad job, that nigga gone, man. This is pure electricity working through this body, you feel me? It's all it be. This is why this shit be coming out like this. Well, how the fuck you know that? Because I go meditate. I go to the Ashley Plains and I see this shit. Like, I'm looking at y'all ass. I'm looking at myself and y'all. And y'all, that's how it need to be. You know what I'm saying? So, understand that in roots. Hold on. Family.
Drop the smoke little emojis, man. And shed alive three times because as the gods and goddesses of planet Kai, we understand numerology. So we now understand the power of the three, the six, and the nine. We do. So that's why we're going to shed alive three times. Because we understand how the trinity works. We understand the frequency of the trinity. And thus it shall be. All right? Now, notice in the movie Roots, family, what was his name? Kunta Kente, right? Because Kunta was symbolic of the Kunda gland that actually is inside of us. All right? And that's where the term Kundalini energy comes from, family. We everything. All right? So this is what the ancient Egyptians knew in the Kemet. They knew that in ancient Kemet. That's why they was rising on that frequency and vibrating in that high. But when your ass is in your lower self, in your root chakra, you're going to vibrate low. And that's what we've been doing the last 30 of these 40 human-made years, vibrating low. Because remember, in the 50s and the 60s, the kundalini energy was rising again. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. You seen this, that's when the birth of the civil rights movement came. That's when you seen the Black Panthers, the emergence of the Bloods, the Crips, the Genies, the Vikings. All these what they want to call gangs was actually organizations in the beginning that were started to protect the community. Let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. And all this shit came in the 50s and the 60s. All these gangs that they call gangs now. So I'm going to call them what they really were. Or black militia organizations to protect the community. All they asked was started in the 50s and the 60s, nigga. Then you had Angela Davis, nigga. You had Huey Newton and the Black Panthers in them. You had Asada Shakur in them. You had Che Guevara on them in Cuba in the, in the 50s and 60s. Boy, we was thick as thieves. Kundalini energy was rising, nigga. And they shut the Celestial Gateway down because it wasn't time yet. And when they shut the Celestial Gateway down, then they came and they started, they had the, 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 the green light to kill some of the messengers. So they knocked off Malcolm X and they killed Martin Luther King. They even killed JFK. You know, one of, one of, the, one of the ascended masters reincarnated as JFK trying to sneak the message through. They knocked him off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everybody that came, they was knocking off. You feel me? Everybody that came, they was knocking off to keep that energy low. And when they got everybody out the way, knocked off the whole Panthers, broke up all the, the organizations that renamed them gangs, the FBI did that. Nigga. Yeah, nigga. Came up with a whole fucking project to make sure that another black messiah never rise in the community. Yeah, the FBI did that. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. You know what I'm saying? In actuality, that was why the FBI was started. Marcus Garvey made them start the FBI. All right? So let's be real about all this shit tonight. Let's be real about all this shit. And right now, what's happening is they ain't going to be able to do what they did in the 60s because now the energy is here. The energy is here now. So now they can't come knock niggas off like they want to. They can't go. They can't do that. They can't even take the atmosphere right now. They are in the mountains, under the ground, family. Right? Every y'all, I keep telling y'all the political little leaders y'all seeing this fucking shapeshifters, man, and clones and shit, man. I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on. All is going to be revealed sooner than y'all think. F trust me on that. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, this Kundalini, this Kunda gland, all right, is an actual gland within you. All right. And this Kundalini energy is rising, right? And what makes it rise is the radiation, the atmosphere, the frequencies. All right, the frequencies, all right? So these frequencies that are being emitted all around this planet, along with the Akashic records being activated. So now you're going to have these gods and goddesses just coming out of nowhere with information, 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 posting shit. And that's why I was teaching y'all about the internet earlier so you can start really grasping these downloads from these people you see on the internet. Stop thinking everybody on the internet, just the internet understand the power of what the internet really is.